Welcome back and let's get into some more interesting stuff. Variant is a C++ 17 type safe union. What does that mean? It means that it may be one and only one of the type it holds. For example, if there is a variant of a string and an error code, then the variant may hold either a string or an error code. We will explain more about variants soon, but first let's take a quick look at how we can use them to report errors. By returning a variant of an error code and the contents of a file, we can now both distinguish between different errors and the contents of the file are now protected against accidental access. This is because the result can either be an error or the contents of the file. If the decoder tries to get the contents of the file when an error has occurred, an exception will be thrown. The main drawback of this approach is that the usage of variants may seem exotic to some, but as soon as you get used to them, then you will see that they are very powerful and in fact very effective. Let's go over the basic usage of variants. Assume a variant that can store an integer, a string or a double. First we initialize it with an integer. Then we ask to get an integer from it and get the corresponding value. Instead of the type, we may also provide the index of the type we want to get. Similarly, if we set the variant to be a string and ask to get a string, we will now get the value of the string we set. Calling holds alternative with the type or an index returns whether the variant holds the specific type or not. Finally, if we try to get a type that the variant does not hold, an exception will be thrown. Now, let's look further into how we can use variants to report errors. From the perspective of read file, things look pretty simple. If there is an error, we return the error code. If there is no error, we return the contents of the file. On the caller side, we can use holds alternative to check if the variant contains an error or not. If it contains an error, we can go ahead and handle the error. Remember that if we try to access the contents of the file when an error has occurred, an exception will be thrown. Then, if the variant does indeed hold the contents of the file, we can access them using get. In this part, we looked at returning a variant of an error code and the contents of the file. This approach covers all the drawbacks of the previous approaches. We can both distinguish between different errors and the contents of the file are protected against accidental access. The main drawback is that checking if a variant holds a specific type may not appear so readable to some. In the next part, we will see how we can actually improve that.